Welcome. In this e-learning module, I shall demonstrate and make you understand how to design the locator pin. In the previous lessons, we designed the strip guide plates, between which the stip can be positioned. We also designed the strip support plate, which supports the strip. But there is no locator or a stopper to position the strip in the feed direction. Let's design a locator pin to position the strip in the feed direction. Create a new part file with the part name as locator pin. Create a sketch on the front YZ plane. Sketch two rectangles. Quick trim the rectangles to give it the shape of a stepped pin. Delete the vertical line. Sketch an axis. Create a diameter dimension for the shank of the pin. Create a diameter dimension for the head of the pin. Create a dimension for the head height. Update the head height dimension to 5 mm, considering the thickness of the sheet, which is 3.15 mm. Update the pin shank die to 8 mm. Update the pin head die to 16 mm. Update the pin height to 10 mm. Make sure the sketch is fully constrained and exit the sketcher workbench. Create the pin using the shaft command. The shank of the pin looks short. Edit the sketch of the pin. Create a reference dimension for the shank height of the pin. As the shank dia is 8 mm, the shank height should be minimum 1.5 times the shank dia. That is, it should be a minimum of 12 mm. Update the height of the pin to 20 mm. Observe the shank height is now 15 mm. Exit the sketcher workbench. Provide an entry chamfer of 2 by 15 degrees to the shank. Provide a corner radius of 1 mm to the corners of the entry chamfer. Provide a chamfer of 1 by 45 degrees to the pin head.
Set the view to isometric and fit all in. Save the locator pin. Swap the window to die assembly. Right click on the die plate and open the die plate in a new window. Create a position sketch on the top surface of the die plate. Sketch a circle. Snap the center of the circle to the horizontal axis. Create a positional dimension to the center of the circle with reference to the vertical axis. Update the diameter dimension of the circle to 8 mm. Make sure the sketch is fully constrained and exit the sketcher workbench. Create a hole using the pocket command and up to last option. Swap the window to die assembly. Click on the existing component command. Pick the product 1, which is the die assembly. Pick the locator pin from the file selection window. Provide a coincidence constraint between the pin's axis to the axis of the pin hole on the die plate. Provide a contact constraint between the step of the pin and the top surface of the die plate. Measure the distance between the feed bridge surface on the strip layout and the axis of the pin. Calculate the distance the pinhole has to be moved by subtracting 8 mm from the measured distance. 8 mm is the radius of the pin head. Swap the window to die plate. Edit the sketch of the pinhole. Subtract the calculated value from the positional dimension of the circle. Exit the sketcher workbench. Swap the window to die assembly. Update the assembly. Set the view to top and make sure the pin touches the feed bridge on the strip layout. Set the view to isometric and fit all in. Save the die assembly. Swap the window to the locator pin. Set the view to isometric and fit all in. Save the locator pin. Swap the window to die plate. Add a chamfer of 1 mm by 45 degrees to the locator pin hole. This chamfer shall ensure the perfect assembly of the locator pin on the die plate. Set the view to isometric and fit all in. Save the die plate. With this, we have successfully designed the locator pin. That's all in this e-learning module. Thanks.